Welcome! In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create macro stacks with Helicon Remote. I'm going to photograph an old hard drive with Nikon D90 and Nikkor 105mm macro lenses. To start, I'll connect my camera to my computer with a USB cable, checking that my lens is set to autofocus mode. Note, we recommend you set your camera to manual exposure mode, as this will allow you to change the exposure parameters with Helicon Remote. Now I'll run Helicon Remote and turn the camera on. As soon as Helicon Remote takes control of the camera, the live view image will show on my screen. First, I'm going to set the nearest and farthest focusing points. To focus on the nearest edge, I'm using the auto focusing function. Here I'm zooming in to check if the lens focused correctly. The focus is not quite right. It's a little bit away from the edge. I'll use the small step keys to move the focus all the way to the edge. Now I'm using the fast preview function to check the focusing again. The camera takes a preview shot and I can zoom in to see if all the details are in focus. When this is correct, I can save A, the nearest focusing point. Next, I'll move the focus towards infinity using Helicon Remote's arrow keys. For this, I don't use the autofocusing function because the program will lose track of the focus position. To check the focusing, I'll zoom in. I'm making a few small steps back and forth to find the right position. Once again, I'm using the Fast Preview function to check the focusing in full resolution. Now I can save the farthest focusing point, B. The program automatically calculates the number of shots to be taken, as well as the interval between them. This calculation is based on the current aperture, the focal length of the lens, and the correction factor. The correction factor allows you to fine-tune the program for your specific lens. Now that all the necessary parameters are set, I can start shooting the stack. By the way, you can always interrupt the process by pressing the Stop Shooting button. Taking 29 shots will take quite a while, so I'll skip this step. As soon as the stack is ready, the program will download it from the camera and then suggest you open it in Helicon Focus, our program for focus stacking. I'll open Helicon Focus and process the stack using the default parameters. Let's watch how the depth map changes while the program blends the shots. Here's the result, a very sharp image that I never would be able to achieve with a single shot. Helicon Remote also allows advanced exposure bracketing. You can set up to 15 exposure steps, which is more than most cameras allow. In manual mode, you can change the exposure time, ISO, and aperture for each step, if necessary. With Helicon Remote, you can also do time-lapse photography. Set the number of shots, the interval between them, and the delay before the first one. Now you can leave the camera alone and it will take a series of images. When a subject changes over time, it can be interesting to combine the images into a movie. You can set the following exposure parameters with Helicon Remote. Exposure time, aperture, and ISO as well as exposure shift and image format. On the Advanced Settings panel, you can also set the flash parameters and white balance mode. Finally, Helicon Remote can also control external stepping devices, such as the StackShot macro rail. The program can adjust the camera's position using steps as small as 0.01 millimeters, which allows you to take pictures of tiny objects. Download a free 30-day trial version of Helicon Remote from our website and try it out. 
Happy remote stacking!